Juliet Chakiaka compares her reaction to Zimbabwe's election results to mourning a death. The 51-year-old, who runs an informal convenience store selling vegetables, popcorn and other odds and ends in her home in Highfield, one of the oldest townships here in the Zimbabwean capital, says her community was expecting to move forward. I don't want to go back to a time when there was no food on the shelves. But, we will accept this in the end, we just want peace, she said. Chakiaka's combination of dissatisfaction with and quick submission to the election results that saw Robert Mugab score a landslide victory over the MDCTS Morgan Tsvagare in this week's presidential poll, resonates with many. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC, announced on Saturday that Mugab had secured 61.09% of the vote, followed by Tsvagare with 33.94% in a result that the main opposition says it will not accept. Speaking moments before the announcement, Tsvagare said he would not legitimize the illegitimate, and demanded a forensic audit of the electoral process. Tens of thousands of Zimbabweans in Harare appear shell-shocked by the news that 89-year-old Robert Mugab and his Zor PF party will continue to lead this country. We were all hoping for fresh start, a way to move forward, Alfred Charkuchishi, another vendor in Highfield, told Al Jazeera. The numbers and the figures coming out of this election makes us feel as if something is fishy, said the 32-year-old.